Hello again and today we will cover Peppermint OS. Peppermint was a very popular distribution before and it was a Ubuntu based distribution but after the passing away of the lead developer they they have uh, stopped a while and then they were revived in 2022 with Peppermint Debian. So since the beginning of 2022, we had Peppermint Debian and we have also Peppermint Dev1, which is also a system D3 uh, base of uh, Debian. If you notice, this is the website. If I press the download Peppermint, we'll get uh, two choices. The first choice is 6432-bit, 6432-bit Dev1 and Debian. What is uh, amazing about uh, Debian is it still supports 32-bit and Ubuntu is, is not supporting it anymore. So for old PCs, you can take care that Peppermint will stay also as a very viable lightweight alternative for you. So enough of talking, let's go inside the installation for, uh, for the Debian base and we will discuss. So we are in Peppermint uh, Dev1 base and this is the installer i already put the installer and we are now in the live environment so let me close it and let's start with the installation okay so this is peppermint american english system english all english okay no problem next we press next okay so here we uh, if you notice you have they have this uh, this icons on i don't like these icons by the way but if you press each one it will give you this icon so let us go for erase disk we can put any swap also we can change also they have an option for butterfs which is a good addition and xfs very interesting to have let us keep it with xt xt4 next so now we have the choices that calamaris installer has for us which also is a very beneficial and will give it a an, an edge for the others why because for me for example for the printing support instead of looking for uh, the drivers etc when you install it you can put it directly here so you let's say you have lexmark you click it and it will install so first off what i did is i went to the developer's choice i don't know what happened i clicked on firefox esr so that I can install it at next 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 when I finished Firefox was not installed so I don't know what happened but it's not working maybe I need to go to the internet applications web browsers and click it from here maybe anyway so here you have all the choices that you can include most probably they will work most probably I never tried them again so the internet applications you will have uh, you have of course XFCE goodies selection it's a good addition if you want to add them but if you want to keep everything light you can uh, don't bother with them for the internet applications since it doesn't come with any browser you need to select a browser so if you want you can select from these firefox esr extended uh, support release service release support it's the same you can click it and try it out i tried the developer's choice it didn't work so maybe this one will work if it doesn't work you have to install it when you have your system installed covering the office okay you can uh, install library office it gives you the ability for the graphics studio you have the all the graphics blender image magic etc etc utilities broadcom if you have problems with your broadcom wi-fi before you directly click it here when installation is very simple also for the nvidia you should have some knowledge uh, before you select these because you know every nvidia has a driver and you need to click the correct drivers and of course it's a good addition to include wine so you can include wine and wine tricks you can select them it will select uh, for you the all wine so that you can inst uh, install exe files and run them so the full full name you can uh, because this is uh, dev1 we can uh, put pep dev1 let's say dev1 pep dev etc because i i used it in the basic one is pep dev and the password i put a any symbolic password click next and it will give you all the data that we have and you will look pick click install this is the same one if you use the debian or the dev1 base this the same completely the same i tried them both they are completely the same so if you used any one it is up to you they are the, the same the same procedure 
So I click install and it will install. Let's come back with the full installation. So this is Peppermint Dev1 base. And as you can see, there's the welcome screen here, which gives some information what you can to start with. First off, apps and web browser. So if I want to select the web browsers, I'll put my trivial password. And here you can see the browsers that are included if you want to install, which are recommended by them. Firefox, Conqueror, Falcon, Tor, and the Chromium. So let's say I want to check for Firefox, I can install it. But basically I, what you have to do first, you have to update the system. I prefer to update the system before doing anything. So here, to update the system, there is one case here, which is the yellow one, which is Peppermint Update, simple update shortcut. So if I click it, put the password, I will put the password. I already updated, so I don't think we should have any problem. So installation done, finalizing. So everything is fine. We already updated the system. So it's a very nice tool to use, or you can use the terminal and do it from, from there. Sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade from here. You can do it also. So already updated. Let us look for the apps and web browser again. I need to install Firefox. Let me install Firefox. So install selected. And it gives me here what I would see in the terminal that it is installing Firefox 60 megabytes and 226 megabytes of additional disk space. Okay, so Firefox is installed. We close this one. If we look at the Peppermint Hub, this is a very good tool that we can use. If we notice there is the H block, H block is a uh, series of scripts which we can use so that we can block uh, malware or any sites that are harmful for us. So instead of using an ad blocker, you can use edge block. So when you run it first time, if it is uh, red, you run it and it will start downloading all the lists, which will be in the host file in your system. So you don't need to use any extension on your web browser. So, and if you don't use extension, your web browser will, will be much faster to, to run. Uh, by the way, HBlock, you can use it on any system if you want. Uh, there is a GitHub page for HBlock. You directly uh, go, go there to HBlock, go to the script. It is a simple script. You run it and directly it will download everything in your host file. So let us continue. And it tells me there is 314,000 blocked domains, which are malware domains. If you have problem with these, you can directly click on the green if you have a site that you want to whitelist. There is also an option for that. But if you, uh, if you don't like it, you can directly click it again. I clicked it again and it says zero block domains. So it is red now. So it depends on your taste. I like they did this addition because this one you can use it with all the browsers. You can use it with Firefox. You can use it with Chromium. You can use it with uh, the other big uh, browsers. So well, you don't have to care about blocking ads, etc, etc. Looking at the update manager, this is also a GUI done by, by the Peppermint uh, team. If you want, it gives you, if you want to get an update, how much time to get an update, you have an update manager to, to get it for, from here. And another thing, if you want to update the PEP tools, these are the tools that we talked about, HBlock and the others which you can update. So this is about the update manager. The suggested apps are the ones that uh, are, uh, are by default. We talked about them. These are the same one, the same, the same uh, form that we have. Okay, so this is the Peppermint Hub. For Kumo Docs, we read how to create and manage SSBs. If you want to talk about SSBs, SSBs are like a web app that you can use Instead of using, let's say, uh, uh, Firefox, a, a bookmark, you can have it here inside. Instead of, uh, it will act as an application. Firefox doesn't, it included it uh, before, and now it is abandoned because it caused some bugs. Some bugs. Starting, I think, from uh, version 82, they, they removed it. But what we can do uh, with that is, let's, 
it is available in something called ice here so this one is ice this is a simple ssb manager let's say the application that i have is discord okay and enter the web address www.discord.com okay and internet select an icon let us select let's say facebook for example okay let's take facebook so this is the f and we click and it tells me create the ssb with an isolated browser profile let's say apply an error with the web address has been detected the site being down or unavailable right now close and then here in the menu you can go you have a discord here you can search for it directly so instead of opening the browser and click it you can click it from here so if i click it okay and if you notice it opened as an app it, it acts as an app so it will be more optimized for your liking that's why it's better to have it as an ssb but for firefox it caused a lot of bugs that's why it removed it from uh, it was available out of the box so if you want you can use chromium with the ssb it's better for you so the other thing peppermint hub uh, this is the ssbs there is the extras for the extras there is the peppermint themes peppermint icons and peppermint wallpaper what we have let's say uh, for example if i go for appearance if you notice uh, they don't have a lot of themes available they have the basic ones and they have the peppermint and red dark unlike linux mint linux mint they throw everything at you they give you all this extra space and all the uh, icons and the themes that you desire this one it has, has only one which is peppermint 10 red dark so if you want to have more themes you can go here and install the others you have the themes the icons and the wallpaper of course there's the documentation there's some nice documentation for basic use i uh, i would like you to go to over them they are very good also and that's that's about it for uh, peppermint one final thing we need to talk about is the disk space so if you notice it is using around 5 gigabyte it was around 4.800 4.8 gigabyte i installed firefox so it is around 4.8 gigabyte 5 gigabyte of disk space and for the ram you are we are talking about it's not 418 when you ins install it it will be around 300 with a cold boot it will be around 300 because now i installed some things and we made some updates it is around 400 but it is the lightest one the devil one base is the lightest one among all of them and for the kernel and for the kernel we are using 5.10 the same one for the debian base so the debian and dv1 they are using a much older kernel from from last year okay that's basically it let's uh, have only a look of uh, for uh, the debian base the statistics for these ones and we will finish okay and this is the debian base if you notice this is the same the same thing that you will see in dev1 case they are basically very similar if we look first at the kernel it is using 5.10.0.18 the same as the dev1 base for the free this is a cold boot it is using 441 which is uh, more than what we saw with the uh, dev1 of course because dev1 doesn't include systemd systemd gives more more uh, ram usage and for the space we have 5.12 and this is without installing Firefox. Right? This one I haven't installed Firefox. I don't think we installed Firefox. We didn't install Firefox here. So that's that's the Debian thing. The, uh, the last thing that we will talk about is the file manager. If you notice here, the default one that they are using is the one that is recommended by Linux Mint, which is Nemo. Unfortunately, XFCE uses Thunar. People who love Thunar will uh, be disappointed but they only also included it so what you can do is you have to search for it or you run it in the terminal so if you run tonar here 
it will be available this is by the way tonar 4.16.8 one final thing about peppermint os is that it is slowly slowly progressing to be a very mature and uh, interesting distribution for lightweight people yet it have some quirks they have to deal with but as a distribution for low end pcs it's a very good uh, contender and many p i recommend it for uh, lower end pcs